Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Hi, friends, and welcome to another session of Rhyme Time. I'm Miss Nucha from the Winfield Public Library, and this is my adorable little dog named Coco. Oh, she's being shy right now. Oh, look at her. She never does this. She's cuddly today. Well, welcome. I'm so happy you can join me today. Today's letter is the letter O. O is for oranges and oatmeal and what else? Octopus and owls and oatmeal cookies. Hmm, what else is does O stand for? Look around the house and see if you see anything with a letter O. And I think she's anxious for us to start with our rhyme time. So let's begin. Today's letter is the letter O. It is a perfect circle. Do you know what animal starts with the letter O? Can you guess what's on this branch? I have a riddle for you. I sleep all day and I search all night. I sit in trees and hoot. Hoo, 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 hoo. Who am I? Can you guess? You're right, an owl. Very, very good. Let's count how many owls we have on this branch. One, two, three, four, five. Five hoot owls sitting in a tree. One flew away. How many do you see? One, two, three, four. Four hoot owls sitting in a tree. One flew away. How many do you see? One, two, three. Three hoot owls sitting in a tree. One flew away. How many do you see? One, two. Two hoot owls sitting in a tree. One flew away. <laughs> How many do you see? One. One hoot owl sitting in a tree. He flew away. <laughs> and then there were none. Shall we bring one back? Let's bring an owl back. Let's bring this one back. Okay. Let's sing a song. Can you help me sing? We're going to sing to the tune of Skip to My Lou. The owl in the tree goes, hoo, hoo, hoo. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Hoo, hoo, hoo. The owl in the tree goes, hoo, hoo, hoo. All night long. The letter O is for, I have a riddle for you. Do you know what this is? I have eight legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I live in the ocean. Who am I? Do you know what this is called? This is called an octopus. Did you know that an octopus has three hearts? That's a lot of hearts. Let's do, and these are baby octopus, and I think they want to have fun today. Will you join in some fun with them, with the singing? We're going to pretend that they're jumping up and down, and we're going to do five little octopus jumping on the bed, because this is their bed. What happens if you jump on the bed? You can bump your head. Five little octopus jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more octopus jumping on the bed. Now we have four. One, two, three, four. Four little octopus jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more octopus jumping on the bed. Now we have one, two, three. Three little octopus jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Uh-oh, mom 
Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more octopus jumping on the bed. How many do we have left? One, two. Two little octopus jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more octopus jumping on the bed. We have one little octopus left. One little octopus jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Ouch! Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, put those octopus right to bed. Okay, good night little octopus. One, two, three, four, five. Good night. Continuing with our One World Many Cultures, I want to tell you about an absolutely gorgeous picture book. It's called Hair Love by Matthew A. Cherry, illustrated by Vashti Harrison. It's an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous book. The illustrations are, are beautiful. And it tells the story of a little girl who, um, I won't give it away, her father has to take care of her. And she's got really curly hair. And there's a special occasion. They're going to do something very special. They're going to visit someone very special. And she needs to have her hair done. And uh, dad comes to the rescue. Dad is doing everything. It's a beautiful, beautiful story. And the same author put together a video. And if you Google hair love, you will want, you can watch the video together with your children. It's so, so beautiful. It's one of my favorite books. I watched that video so many times. I just love it, love it, love it. So that's today's book that I want to tell you about. If you get a chance, check it out. It doesn't matter if you only have boys in the house. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's touching and very well done. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you had fun with the letter O. I certainly did. Next week, we're going to do what letter? What comes after O? P. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. That's next week's letter. And if you click on the link below, Art with Miss Choate, She's prepared a little craft for you. Just watch her tutorial and you can create this adorable little octopus. And if you don't have orange paper or blue paper, that's fine. Just use two pieces of white paper and color, color it in. And if you notice, she put little O's. It looks like Cheerio in the shape of an O on it. Isn't that adorable? And if you haven't picked up a kit, we have a Chinese New Year dragon made out of cupcake liners. You can pick up kits during our um, curbside pickup on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I, I hope you had fun and we wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Bye friends, thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope I see you real soon. Bye everyone. Take care, be good. Bye.